Okay, ignore the very loud drill in the background. Welcome back. Let's go see what this year wants us about. Zombies! What is that smell? It is zombies. I mean, corruption. It's too dark to see anything. We need light. What? What is this? Oh, the goddess. What is this? Nasir, answer me! Ranulf? The goose. At one time, they were the goose. Dun dun dun! Yeah. That's disgusting. This is so horrible. Now you can understand why they really hate Dane in the second game. <laughs> I hope Renolf and the others are alright. They behaved as if nothing had happened, but I could sense they were in pain. That dungeon was the most vile thing I've ever seen. I'm glad you weren't there. Was it that bad? Well, Oscar Cater, explain it. Well, basically, there was some stuff with some zombies, and then eventually Azuka was like, OH MY JESUS ORANGES! And then he ran round, and then eventually some guy that wasn't Asia, but was Asia, <laughs> and then Jet Magnum. But yeah, it was pretty bad, green-haired person. Could have said it better myself, thank you. It was barbaric beyond description. There were more of those corpses than we could count. They had been tortured. Twisted and warped beyond recognition. Why would Ashnar do such things? What could be his purpose here? Ina. The king called powerful Bjork to his cause, but he had to see if they were worthy. He would test them by pitting, pitting them against those of the goose. Ashnar considers the goose to be tools in service to his own mad ends. Nothing more. They are instruments to be used as he sees fit. I heard that he ordered his scholars to perform all kinds of experiments. They use elixirs to drive them mad and keep them locked in, cha in their changed states. Their lifespans were much shortened, but for a brief time, they became extremely powerful. They... <sighs> Thank you for telling us. Thanks to you, we found Leanne. You're free now. You can do whatever you like. I will go to the capital. Please accept me into your army. You don't have to do that. We mean we have Nasir. Fighting against your former parents could prove difficult. And we have Nasir. Take me with you. There's something that I have to do. Please, Master Ike. I ask for you as well. Please. I understand. Let's fight together. For the greater good! Da, 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 um. General Ike, the army has arrived at the, the outskirts of Melior. We read your deployment orders, sir. Very well. Tell the men to stand down and wait my command. At last, we face the King of Dane. Yes, the war is coming to an end. It appears so. Hmm? Is there something bothering you? Well, no, of course not. It's something like that. But... But what? Some... Some of the soldiers are saying that the war is over. Their chances for promotion will dry up. They want to continue fighting, even though Crimea and Dane too have suffered so much? No, that's not what I mean. I apologize. I will go inform the men. Huh. Well... Oh Douchebaggery in the ranks. As per usual. Yeah... Do you know what Whatever, you we're done. Do, you know, when you... When you... One last thing, when you... Hmm. You know what you should do when you finish in a war? Get a job! <laughs> Alright, onward to the final chapter. The Crimean Royal Palace, located in the center of Melior, is famed for its beautiful gardens where the world seems at peace. It is also known as the Halls of Justice. Shiny. Times have changed. Countless battles have raged from these idyllic confines, and a new Dark Lord now sits upon the throne. Vader! The palace itself has not suffered. It remains in a sturdy, a sturdy and dignity and elegance. Yet there is no peace on this day. A grim tension fills the air, engulfing all it touches in deafening silence. The cable's been cut. <laughs> Within the heart of this palace is the author of this war, Hashnard, King of Dane. I'm the Antichrist. I will. The I am the main character. And I am the sub-main character. Together we are the one- I mean, Ike, Supreme Commander of the Crimean Army, and Alincia, Princess of Crimea, have completed their battle preparations. Now, they spend a tense morning waiting for the decisive battle that will conclude their year-long odyssey. They wait for the beginning of the end. How many times does that happen in the game? It's the beginning of the end! Again? Oh man. End game! Repatri repatriation! Yeah. <laughs> 
the greatest title for an endgame. Endgame! For Petri- Repa- mm. Nothing, nothing to say before opening battle? Well, god, I do like. 